Hi, welcome to Food Delicious Kitchen by Sava. How are you doing? Today we are making Bria tacos. Bria tacos are originally made with lamb meat and sometimes you can make with beef. Today I am using chicken for my tacos. It's a very rich, flavorful and delicious dish. You can adjust the heat level to your liking. My tacos are not spicy but full of deep, rich flavors of ingredients I use. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon button so you don't miss any future videos. Let's start cooking. Here are the ingredients for Bria tacos. I have 1.2 pounds of chicken thighs. They are boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I have one onion, two tomatoes. I remove the skin out of it and just cut in big chunks and five cloves of garlic. I have three to five bay leaves depending on how big your bay leaves are. One and a half teaspoon of cumin powder. One teaspoon of oregano. Salt and pepper to taste. And one teaspoon of cinnamon powder. I have olive oil and water. For sauce, I have chipotle pepper in adobo sauce and I have dry chili, this is ancho chili, two of them and three wahio chilies. And these are the ingredients you need for tacos. First, I will Clean my dry chilies. I have three bahio chilies and two ancho chilies. I'll remove the stem and seeds out of it and then I'll just wash them properly so there is no debris or any dirt on them. This sauce I am making will not be very spicy, it will be flavorful but mild in spice because I am using two small ancho chilies and three dry wahio chilies and one chipotle pepper i will add in the sauce in the end when all the seeds are removed clean your peppers wash them properly i wash them and now i put in a pan and add some water to cover the peppers. It should be enough water that it will cover all your peppers. You can put them down. And now I will put it on the stove and let it cook until it boils. When it starts boiling, put a lid on it and turn off the heat. And now I will let it sit in this boiling water for at least 15 to 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, I remove the peppers out of the link water and put in a mixer or blender to make a paste out of it. Here are the peppers. Don't waste your chili water right now. We will use some of it. First, I am adding one chipotle pepper in adobo sauce. I don't want a very spicy sauce, so I'm just using one. And then I'll add one cup of this chili water in my blender. And I'll just make a paste out of it. Our chili paste is ready. If you want to strain it, you can. I don't like to strain. I like the texture of my chili paste, so I will not strain it. But for smoother texture, you can strain. Now in a saucepan, add 2 tablespoons of oil. 
let it heat and now we will brown our chicken thighs in it we are not going to cook it just giving some color on it so for two or three thighs at a time don't overcrowd your pan and give them some brown color it will take 3 to 5 minutes for the thighs to have the color on them after a couple of minutes i am just changing the side and i'll brown the other side our chicken thighs are brown take them out now we have this pan with all the chicken juices in it i will add one onion we chopped and i'll just put in the pan it will help with deglazing the pan and also it will saute the onions it's just another layer of flavor you are adding in your tacos you just need to do couple of minutes and now we are ready i am making my tacos in instant pot you can use pressure cooker or a pot i will add my brown chicken thighs with all their juices in the pot in it add your sauteed onions this part is easy you will just add all the things all the layers of flavors and then you will have a delicious sauce in the end in it i am adding two tomatoes for which i removed the skin 5 cloves of garlic 1 teaspoon of cinnamon powder 1 and 1/2 teaspoon of cumin powder 3 to 4 bay leaves salt and pepper to your taste 1 teaspoon of oregano You can use Mexican oregano for it. I don't have it, so I'm just using regular oregano. And now we will add all our chili paste. And now add one and a half cup of water in that jar, and clean all the remaining chili paste in it. add this liquid in the pot now all our ingredients are in the pot just mix them together with a spoon we are using chicken thighs for this recipe because you need to cook them for a while and chicken breast does not have enough fat to stay moist if you cook for longer time so chicken thighs are best now add it in your instant pot and i'll close it and cook for 35 minutes manually on high pressure You can just press the meat stew button and you will have the 35 minute timer on it and let it cook. 
after 35 minutes our meat is ready remove the chicken from your sauce you can see it's super moist and soft we will shred it and here is our sauce at this time you can blend it to make a puree out of it i like to have the chunkier sauce so i will not puree it You can see that nice deep color and flavor. Now with the help of two forks, just shred the chicken. The chicken is so moist and soft that it will not take more than a couple of minutes. And you can shred all. Once all your chicken is shredded, we will start the assembly part. Here is our shredded chicken. At this time, remove any bay leaves. You can see from your sauce and chicken. And now I am keeping some chicken for my tacos. And then I will add the remaining chicken back in the sauce. Here, bigger portion of chicken I am adding back in the sauce and a smaller portion I will keep for assembling tacos. Now is the fun part to assemble. Mix your chicken in your sauce and here is your taco sauce ready, taco meat sauce ready and in a dry pan on medium low heat I have a yellow corn tortilla and I will dip it in my chicken meat sauce. Don't dip it longer just for a second or two and then put it in your saucepan and after couple of seconds change the side at this time I'm adding some cheese on my taco I'm using Mexican blend you can use any blend you like on it add some of your shredded chicken it's up to you how much cheese and chicken you want on your taco I am adding a little bit sauce from my taco sauce and now add some onions and cilantro and now wrap it Cook for 40 more seconds so cheese will melt. In the meantime, I'll show you another taco. I dip it in taco sauce and now I will add cheese on top. If you like too cheesy, add more cheese. Or you can put cheese on top of chicken also if you want too much cheese. And now add your chicken. Ladle some of the taco meat sauce on it, some onions and cilantro and wrap it. By dipping the corn tortilla in meat taco sauce, you give your tortilla extra flavor which is an added layer of flavor when you are eating your Bria tacos and it's wonderfully delicious. When your tacos are ready, this is how you serve them. I have some meat taco sauce in a bowl. And here are my tortillas. And I garnish with some onions and cilantro. Now take your taco, dip it in the meat sauce and then eat it. This is a delicious recipe to try. 
subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon button give me a thumbs up and tell me in the comments how you like it follow me on facebook and instagram have a wonderful day stay safe until next time bye